so elegant. It's never so much fun tonight at 8 here on CHCH TV 11. From the comedy stage, Richard Lewis. From the silver screen, Ned Beatty. From St. Elsewhere, Stephen First. From Night Court, Marsha Warfield. From Hotel Heidi Bohan. From infant child care expert, Dr. Lyndon Smith. From the world of music, fashion, and videos, there's only one, Stacy Q. From the top of the charts, Jeffrey Osborne. And from the center square, Phyllis Diller. They are the new Hollywood Square. And here's your host, John Nevinson. Thank you, Ray. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Shadow Stevens, and welcome to the new and uh, updated Hollywood Squares. Hello, celebrities. Oh, hello. Hi, John. Hi. It is Monday on the Hollywood Squares, and we have a very interesting combination up here. We'd like you to meet three fascinating people. <laughs> Here's how this came about. We had twins week a while ago. Was it last week on the show, as it turned out? And our champion twins are on my right, Matt and Mike Halbrick. Welcome, Matt and Mike. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hi. Tell us something about yourselves, in case we weren't watching last week. Okay, well, we're from Burbank, California, and we own our own greeting card company, cards that we design, create, and distribute ourselves. That's enough of a plug. That's okay. <laughs> How about Matt? Does Matt talk at all? I know. Uh, yeah, I'm nine minutes younger than Mike. Oh, good. Okay. Wow. Now, what we're going to do, is we have to play one against one. So, with each yeah. game, one of you, how did you decide which one of you is going to play this first game? I'm older, John. <clears throat> All right. I'll go first. So it's going to be Mike. Say goodbye to Matt for now. Matt, we'll see you later. What a guy. There he goes. You come back later, though, all right? On our left, Sue Cheatham is here. Hi, Sue. Welcome Hi, back. Thank you. Tell us something about yourself. I'm from Houston, Texas, and I'm a flight attendant with a major airline. And I enjoy snow skiing and water skiing. Well, good. Good luck on the Thank show you. today. We hope you do well against our twins. But you're, they, they've got two... Never mind. We hope you do well. Here's how you play the game. Tic-tac-toe. Three squares across, down, or diagonally. Or require as many squares as you can. One of each game will receive $500 in cash. And whoever earns the most money at the end of the show will get a chance to drive away in one of these beautiful Renaults. Aren't they nice? Look at those cars. Two convertibles. We tossed a coin backstage, and Matt and Mike won the toss, so Mike, you'll start off. Remember, the way you earn a square is by determining if the celebrity is giving a correct answer. Pick a square. Phyllis Diller. That's a good way to start. Hi, Phyllis. <laughs> Phyllis, according to Psychology Today, people who quit smoking often eat more food. Most of them tend to crave one particular kind of food. What is it? My baked chicken. <laughs> Why? Uh, well, I'll tell you why. It tastes exactly like cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> and and the first bite, smoke comes out of everywhere. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, well, they eat chocolate. They crave chocolates. What do you think, Mike? I disagree. I have sweets here. Uh, we would buy that, so you disagree, so no, Circle gets a square. She was in the right area, yeah. Over to you, Sue. You're on the charts, and you didn't even have to work for it. Pick a square. Marsha Warfield, please. Marsha. <laughs> Congratulations on Night Court. You're Thank one you. of the new stars of Night Court, and you fit in there like you've been doing it for years. Thank you. You're so funny on the show. Who is the personality, Marsha, most closely associated with Poor Richard's Almanac? <laughs> Pat Nixon. <laughs> That's true. We're in trouble already on this show. Okay. <laughs> Poor Richard's Almanac. Who do we associate with that? Ben Franklin. Sue, what do you think? I disagree. No, that's it. Marcia knew him personally. Yeah, it's Benjamin Franklin. X gets a square. You're both playing for each other. Over to you, Mike. Which way do you want to go? Uh, Jeffrey Osborne. Jeffrey. <laughs> Your desk there, you have a household uh, implement. It's used in the kitchen, and we'd like to know what it's designed to do. I have one up here as well, contestants. I mean, Mike, since it's your question. This is what he has there. You see this? It's used in the kitchen, not in the bedroom. It, uh, <laughs> nothing, nothing. Uh, Jeffrey, what is that used for? <laughs> 
Uh, I think it makes, uh, changes big potatoes into little french fries. Potatoes into french fries. Mike, what do you think? What do you think, Mike? It's a half hour show. I know. <laughs> I agree. You agree. I don't have the answer here. Phyllis, who, oh. as we know already, is a wonderful cook. Tell us what it's used My for. dear, I'm prepared to show you, not only just tell you. You put the potato in here, like that, and then you go... No, wait. Mm -hmm. Taste the autumn. Oh! Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, oh, Can you help her, Jeffrey, there? <laughs> uh, it didn't work. Here. Oh, Jeffrey. Okay, let's oh, try God. this again. Yeah, yeah, let's try that. You do it. Oh, please. Mm -hmm. It takes strength, not hard. There we go. Uh oh, it has to go on this thing. It's only a half hour show. Get it goes. I, I think okay, we got to get the back from here. Yeah, that's oh, it. Yeah. yeah! X gets a square. Yeah! Yes, Moose, you're making French fries. Thank you, Jeffrey and Phyllis. X gets a square, and they're still going at it there. All right. Sue will go on to you while they're trying to figure that out. Pick a square. Which way do you want to go? Uh, Richard Lewis for the block. That's the way to get the block. Hi, Richard. How are you? Oh. I'm a little, you know, I, my shrinks are not to sit higher than the first tier. I'm a little upset up here. Right. Uh, did your shrink say it was okay to do Hollywood Squares this week? I, uh, yes, but anything, the, the first yeah. tier, is, the third is a little frightening, but I'll... Yeah, as, you've been through a lot of therapy, and, and we like to kind of be, be nice to you on the show, because we know how your mind is jangled. Uh, Thank this you, is sir. for the block, Richard. You're depressed. Statistically, are you probably a man or a woman? I don't know. That's why I'm depressed. That's the problem I'm having. <laughs> I, uh, well, statistically, uh, statistically. I, I, you're a, you're a, you're a, uh, well, transvestite, that wouldn't count. Where, yeah, a man, that would be one of the other. A man he says, a man, Sue, this is for the block. What do you think? I disagree. A woman, circle gets the square, you got it. A woman are more likely to suffer depression. I don't know why. Maybe Dr. Smith can tell us about that later, why that is. Over to you, Mike, you, you got to go another way now. Which yeah. way? Ned Beatty for the block. Yeah, our movie star. Hi, Ned. We've enjoyed you on the big screen. It's nice to see that you're the size of a normal person. Here. I think this is the perfect format for a round person, quite frankly. I'm going yes. to stick with it. <laughs> Ned, according to Dr. Dr. Joyce story. Brothers, if you're typical, when did you first become curious about sex? Well, in, in my house, that was when I was old enough to try to talk my parents into a subscription to National Ge Geographic. <laughs> but that was a few years back. We I all know how, did that. That's right. I don't know how kids... Uh, that's a good question. Yes. I'm going to say three years old. Three years old, Mike, what do you think? I disagree. Two years old, X gets a square at the age of two. Oh, yeah. oh Dr. Lennon Smith, could that be right? No, that's right. As soon as they get the diapers off, why, it's just uh, <laughs> open-ended. <laughs> <laughs> Right. That was right. Pick a it. square. Dr. Lyndon Smith. Oh, no. Dr. Lyndon Smith, our baby doctor. Did she get that? I'm not no, yet. No, no, not yet. You have a new book out called Dr. Smith's Diet Plan for Teenagers. That's very interesting. That's a little bit uh, above your... Uh... Yes, I had a lot of help with the book, and I, I was a teenager, but I was kind of greasy and, you know, had the bad problems, but I survived that. We're worried that the book isn't selling well because uh, the teenagers already know what they're supposed to eat and the parents have already given up on them. But, uh, <laughs> so I've gotten out of that. I'm in radio work now, but I'll talk about that later. Oh, good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> According to American Health Magazine, Doctor, if you are on a diet, is it a good idea to skip lunch? It's a good idea to skip lunch if um, you have to pay for it. <laughs> if you go out with somebody and you're sure that they're going to pick up the ticket, that, that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, a, uh, that's a bad idea. People should eat uh, some lunch, even though it's just a handful of almonds and, and uh, six um, for raisins. The, for the block, Sue, so he says that you should never skip lunch. What do you think? I agree. That's right, exactly. You got the block. Circle gets a square. Over to you, Mike. Which way do you want to go? Heidi Bohe for the block. Heidi Bohe, yes. how's hotel going? Great. Thanks for asking. Perfect. You are so good on the show. And this Thanks. year, you're supervisor instead um, of... Uh, assistant manager. Assistant. No more uniform. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you wearing pretty clothes. Thanks. According to St. Louis Post-Dispatch, all right, yes. within $100, what does the average card holder owe on his or her credit card? Oh, an arm and a leg, definitely. <laughs> if it's anything like me, uh, no, I. Uh, this is such a great question. Within yeah, hundred dollars, really. how much? Five hundred dollars. Mike, what do you think? This is for the block. I disagree. Seven hundred twenty-five. X gets a square. You got it. Yeah. Seven hundred twenty-five. Now there's only yeah. Which way do you want to go, Sue? 
I'll go with Stephen first, please. Yes, yeah, Stephen Buck first from St. Elsewhere. Hi, Doctor. Uh, hi, how are you? You better not try to be a real doctor on this show, because Dr. Smith can, you know, he's real. <laughs> According to the book Childhood Friendships, what is the main reason most children tell lies? Oh, to prepare for a career in politics. <laughs> no. Um, they lie because they're afraid of uh, getting caught at something they did wrong. They're, they're afraid of being punished. Afraid of being punished. Sue, what do you think? I agree. No, it's to make wishes and fantasies come true. Isn't that wonderful? X gets a square. Mike, you won the game. Let me explain. The reason why you won is because you have five X's up there, and I didn't see that until just now, and you can win by not getting ticked over, but getting the most squares. Sue, your turn to catch up right after. It is the secret square game. We'll be right back. Stay with us. is our secret square game, and the player who chooses that square could win this shadow. A trip to New Orleans. Reply, you and a companion from Los Angeles to New Orleans aboard Delta Airlines, which offers both standard and wide body service. You may visit their exclusive Crown Room Lounge, experience their warm and friendly hospitality and flight from Delta Airlines, and you'll stay at the Monteleone Hotel. Fine accommodations including rooftop pool and patio overlooking the colorful and historic French Quarter furnished by the Monteleone Hotel. So let's reveal our secret square to our home audience only. And it's time to make our little switch up here. Mike, you've been wonderful, but let's bring back Matthew Halbrick. Here he is. Hi. I'm glad you're wearing name tags, because yeah. we would never know. Uh, Sue, it's your turn to play catch up here. Now pick a square. Phyllis Diller, please. Phyllis. <laughs> Phyllis, the world-famous Lloyds of London will insure almost anything against theft or damage. We know that. How about your bust? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. They will insure it. But if I have any problem at all, I'd have to go to small claims court. <laughs> 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 will they insure your bust? Uh, yes. She says yes, Sue. What do you yes. think? I agree. It is yes. I can't believe that. They will insure your bust. <laughs> they do anything. Over to you, Matt. Which way do you want to go? Marshall Warfield, please. Not the secret square, but awful cute. Hi, Marsha. Hi. In the U.S., only one thing stands taller than New York's World Trade Center. What is it? Empire State Building. Empire State Building. Matt, what do you think? I disagree. The Sears Tower, X gets a square in Chicago. Yeah. It stands 1,454 feet tall. Over to you, Sue. Richard Lewis, please. Richard up there, not our secret square. Are you feeling better, Richard? Yeah, there's oxygen here now, finally. You're very calm today. I, usually you're, you're, you know, going crazy. I'm so afraid of leaping off this tier. You Richard, have no idea. <laughs> Richard, what is the lowest point on Earth? Well, for me personally, I had a sexual problem in Columbus last week. Forget about it. You mean geographically? <laughs> We're talking geographically or personally? Yes. Ge geographically. Oh, like, oh, land, you mean? Land, yeah. Oh, I always think sex immediately, you know? Yes. I, I have a feeling it's... Uh, I, it's probably, what do you call that place, uh, the, the Salt Lake, the Great Salt Lake. The Great Salt Lake, Sue, what do you think? I disagree. The circle gets a square, the Dead Sea. I meant the Dead Sea. No, <laughs> you can't take it back. 1,310 feet below sea level. Matt, over to you, hunting for that secret square. Ned Beatty to block, please. Mm, you can win, though, maybe by doing this. Ned, true or false, Thomas Paine, one of the most important and influential of our founding fathers, was a corset maker by trade. That's true. Martha Washington uh, relied on him for support, I hear. <laughs> uh, Course, was he a corset maker? Yeah. Uh, false. He, he wasn't. says false. Matt, this will be for the block. What do you think? I agree. No, it's true. So that's how he made his living. He was a cork uh, maker. <laughs> <laughs> he ended up corking who he was. He made, made yeah, this guy was quick to it. Yeah, this guy was <laughs> wired. Uh, he was, of course, a maker. Okay, uh, you can't put the circle there. You gotta earn it yourself, so if you want to, or you might want to hunt for the secret square. Can't put words in your mouth, but say something. Ned Beatty for the win, please. Ned Beatty, yeah, you want to win the game. Ned, 
I wanted to be the secret square. Yeah. <laughs> Ned, you are the secret square. Thank you. you. You've been invited to someone's home for dinner, Ned, at 8 o'clock. Now, according to Miss Manners, you should never arrive after what time? After they serve the dessert because it's no use, there's no reason. There's no... Yeah. That's, uh, after what time? Eight o'clock was the invitation. After what time should you just, just go get a hot dog and forget right, the Right, go somewhere else. This is for I the think, win. I, I think 8.30. Uh, 8.30. That, that would be pushing it, yeah. Sue, what do you think? I disagree. You've won the game. 8.12. 8.12. Eight eight Sutler gets a square. $500. Oh, we have a tie. We'll be right back after this. Here goes after that car. Stay with us. It's getting better. In case we don't get to complete our last game at the sound of that crazy horn, we'll finish the question. Each X and O on the board will be worth $100. It's time to make our switch again, okay? okay. Matt, you were wonderful. Let's hear it from Matt. Here's the other twin, Mike. <laughs> and it just so happens, Michael, it's your turn to pick a square. We have a tie, so you better do your brother proud. Phyllis Diller. Phyllis. <laughs> if, if you use a combination lock to keep your valuables safe, is it a good idea to set it to the same numbers as your birthday? Are you kidding? <laughs> uh, well, then I'd have to stop lying about my age. No, no, I think yes, I except for me. You, yes. You say it is yes. a good idea. Yes. Mike, what do you think? I agree. No way. Mm -hmm. Sophistic Circle gets a square. Sophisticated thieves gather all the information oh. before the burglary. So, yeah, Circle gets a square. Over to you, Sue. Ned Beatty, please. Ned. By the way, you have a new film coming out. Sue and I have been lucky together. Yeah. Ned, your new film is called Restless Natives, and it's playing around the country. We hope it's a, a hit. Yes, we sure, sure do. It's, it's a small film. It was made in Scotland. Uh, not very much money. I play an American tourist, and the Restless Natives are Scottish na natives. Ooh. And it's, if you ever wanted to go to Scotland, go see this film, because the scenery is incredible. Well, that's great. And it's fun and funny. and Yeah, Restless Natives. Okay. Sue, here's your question. <laughs> What special thing do Ronald Reagan and Myron Futterman have in common? Uh, these men were both actors who went bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ronald Reagan and Myron Futterman. Myron just didn't get the breaks that, that uh, our president did. Uh, they were both California governors. Sue, what do you think? I disagree. <laughs> Governor Futterman. <laughs> Circle gets a square. They were both married to Jane Wyman. Uh, you learned something uh, on the Hollywood uh, Squares. Yeah. Over to you, Mike, pick a square. Richard Lewis to block. That's the way to play the game. There's our oh. horn, Richard. That horn scares me, you know that. <laughs> this will be the last question, then we'll add up the scores. Richard, doctors tell us. A gray winter can cause depression, withdrawal, fatigue, de dis decreased sex drive, and a strange craving for carbohydrates. But you can overcome it by exposing yourself to something. Exposing yourself to what? Overcome it? That, that's my goal, all I'll say. <laughs> by standing and looking out at the ocean. This is for the block, by standing and looking out at the wonderful ocean. What do you think? I disagree. Bright light. X gets a square. You have the bright, yeah, bright artificial light can lift a person's mood during the gray winter scene. You have the block. X gets a square. It's time to add up the scores. I must say, now we didn't talk to Stacy Q today. Oh. Stacy, I'm so sorry. We will, we will talk to you tomorrow, okay? Promise. I promise. Add up the scores. I see by the old tote board that our new champion, our reigning champion still, is Sue Cheatham. Sue, congratulations. Very nicely done. today and Mike and Matt you guys have done so well that you've won 2600 bucks and you brighten our show because of your blue jackets and your Thank smile you. thanks for being on the show say goodbye Matt and Mike <laughs> Sue I have here a bowl of keys four keys because you've already picked one car last week you have a one in four chance okay pick one of these keys each one fits one of those beautiful cars which car would you like to try and start would you like to try and start the Alliance convertible <laughs> Will your key start the GTA two-door sedan? What about the Alliance hatchback? Or would you like to try the GTA convertible? What do you think, Sue? The GTA convertible. I would, too. Sue and the GTA convertible right after this. We'll be right back. Stay with us. We're back. 
back, and Sue has chosen Stacy Q uh, and Stephen First as her good luck celebrities and this beautiful GTA convertible. Shadow Stevens, tell us about it. Ooh, it's new, quick, and hot. The Renault GTA convertible offers a two-liter high output overhead cam, four-cylinder engine, electronic fuel injection, plus a power-operated convertible roof. Furnished by Renault. It is worth $14,608. Audience and stars, help her out. On the count of three, turn that key. One, two, three. Great. Some of our departing contestants will receive the following. Gitano is always on the cutting edge of fashion and design, offering up to the minute styling and exceptional quality Gitano. And it's picnic season. Time for the crisp, crunchy, delicious flavor of all natural picnic old fashioned shoestring potatoes from SW. And wrinkle free brand fabric relaxant removes wrinkles from clothing without ironing. Wrinkle free, the little iron in a can.